Hi right, guys, what's up? PS3 video for you today. This is the uh, updated Sen Enabler uh, version 5.2. We've updated from 5.1.2, uh, so we're going to 5.2 now, and uh, this is for all compatible 4.4.6 custom firmwares. I haven't really tested this yet, but I'm going to assume for the better that it's going to work to some potential. The last two versions, I was running Rogero, and then I tried Rebug, and it just wouldn't patch the data for the MAC address spoof, the uh, SSID spoof, and the console ID spoof. But today we're going to find out and see if that works. So I'm going to show you how to install this. The download link will be below as well on, as on my website, software-reborn.com. Under the Sony PS3 page, you will see it there, the Sun Enabler. So, without further ado, first thing what you're going to need to do is plug a USB cable or USB stick into your computer and uh, open up the files to view the folders. Now, what you're going to need to do after that is simply, well, you can see I have the console ID text and stuff here. This is for the previous Sun Enabler, so I'm just going to get rid of these. Uh, just simply because I don't need these, so I'm just going to get rid of them. <laughs> I'm just going to be putting them back in here. Hey, douchebag, thank you. Delete. Good day. What the hell is this? Uh, it's a log file. Okay. Well, anyways, so first what you're going to need to do is uh, you can do one or two things. I'm just going to put the package on the uh, root here. But uh, first thing, after you download the Send Enabler 5.2 files from my link below, double click on that and open it up. If you don't have an extraction program, you're going to need one because this is a RAR format. So go get WinRAR somewhere. It's free uh, for the demo version. And inside there, you will see a Send Enabler version 5.2 CEX 4.46 folder. Open that up and you will see the IDs Packager folder, which is just a program to make your own package files to install the console ID, Mac, and PSID text files to your, um, your uh, PlayStation 3's HDD, so you don't have to have a USB stick in there, and you can constantly change them at free will. But, nonetheless, we're just looking at the console ID, Mac, PSID text, and the Send Enabler version 5.2 CEX 4.46 package. So what you're going to do is select all these files here, except for the, uh, except for the readme text, because we don't need that. So you got the console ID selected, Mac selected, PSID selected, and the Send Enabler version 5.2 CEX 4.46 package selected. What you're going to do now is take your USB drive here and just drag and copy these over to the root of the USB drive. So allow them to copy over to the USB stick. Should be about 62.5 megabytes as you can see right there. Now that to copy. And there we are. So now we have the console ID, the Mac, PSID, text files, and the sign enabler version 5.2 CEX 4.46 package there. Now if you open up one of these text documents you will see uh, hashtags uh, for three layers and in the middle of that labor it will say send enabler patch file and the console ID colon and you can change this to whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it like this because I don't really have a need to change it right now and I'm just gonna prove to say that this works. So after you copy all that over it's time to go to the PS3 and we will install this package I'm running Rogue, uh, not Rogero, Rebug version uh, 4.46.2 or 4, no, 4.46.1. That's right. I didn't update that patch. Um, I'll be running that and uh, I will show you how to install this and uh, we'll give it a go. Alright, so let's go to the PS3. Alrighty, so now that we're at the PS3, what you're going to do is simply scroll over to your game section, plug your USB stick in, obviously your flash drive, whatever you're using to install this package with it, and go to Package Manager. What you're going to do is hit X. Now, on other custom firmwares, it will just load up package files. If you're running Rebug, this will come up. And what you're going to do is just go to uh, Install Package Files on Rebug, and you're just going to look for Standard Package Location if you put it on the root of the, um, the uh, USB drive. Um, if you didn't put it on the root of the USB drive, 
go to the package folder and that will be there but we're using the root so I just follow my lead on this um, like I said for any other custom firmware the root package installations that you have on your root of the USB will just show up automatically install the sign enabler version 5.2 CEX 4.46 so just simply click X now the reason why we're doing it this way is because so we don't have to open multi man or stealth man in order to do this um, if you have stealth man and you put it in the package file in, in a package folder on the root of your USB so like you got you know USB and that's the root and then you got the package folder and inside the package folder you put the packages you can install it that way using stealth man I would advise not using multi man because that would require you to run multi man uh, on your system and uh, that's not stealth modulated if you wish to unban your console yes I did just say it, unban your console so if you're banned on your console you can potentially unban yourself using this package anyways once that installs scroll down to your unknown folder which is either a there already or just popped up and you will see the GT Academy 2013 if you hit triangle on that and scroll down to information you will see that it's uh, version 5.01 uh, 63 megabytes blah 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 so go ahead and start that up and all the directions for this are right on the main page now remember about the console ID the PS ID and the Mac text documents that we have put on the root of the USB. Now the USB has to be in the far right um, of the uh, the far right USB port of your PS3. So if you got a slim, it's in the second one. If you got a fat, it's in the fourth one. Or if you got a 40 gig, it's in the second one, and so forth. Now read these uh, dimensions here, and you will see L1, L2, R1, all this. And R3 is the patch data from the USB. That's what you're going to press. So take your right analog stick and push down on it and it will say data patch successfully now if you go over and uh... you should uh... go over and see uh... the uh... let's see cps3 data which is l2 so we'll go ahead and press l2 and it should list your data now the psid and all of that should be changed now flash write should be enabled uh... just because so i'm gonna go ahead and enable that so press triangle to enable flash for writing and then press R3 to patch the data again and uh, just to double check and see uh, and it should be different in this case it's not because it never fucking works but there's the MAC address that's my original one the MAC address and the console ID should change when you do this procedure depending on what custom firmware you have is where it's compatible uh, they might not have one for the rebug, uh, but it should be compatible with some of the custom firmwares. I know it's compatible with ARC custom firmware, the 4.46 ARC, uh, so it works with that. So if you want to unban your console, go and update to ARC custom firmware for a guaranteed result. Um, but other than that, that's about it. So I'm just going to exit this by hitting circle. Or the fucking system can die, one or the other. But yeah. But that's about it. So, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. And uh, the download link will be below if you want to try this out for yourself. And uh, hopefully it helps you more than it helps me. So, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Check out my website, software-reborn.com and all that fun jazz. And uh, follow me on Twitter because everything I update goes there. So, I will talk to you later and enjoy your send enabler for 4.46 custom firm.